All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today we're doing a Panda palette update. So um, let's go ahead and talk about it. I have three different like eye palettes that are like trios and quads and then a face palette. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do start with my MAC quad. We'll do pictures from last month and then this month. Okay, so there is some growth in this pan, in the pan that I'm working on, which is this one. I was hoping that it might be done or very, very close to being done. But um, actually, this is growth from the pan. However, I have repressed it as well. So there is even more, like, I basically got it to the point where I repressed it from where I repressed it the first time, where it was really hard. Kind of close to this, but a bit more um, closer to the edge. And then I repressed it again. <laughs> and it flattened out again and so yeah that's what I'm working on so we'll see hopefully like in the next few months this is just the shadow that never ends because this is MAC shadows hey um but I will say that I'm con I'm still using flip on the inner corner highlight also tapping it with my highlighter um Rodeo Drive and so Rodeo Drive no Beverly Hills from Ofra um, but yeah, I am still using this every single day as well, um, with this and every day that I'm using makeup, which is also something we can talk about, but there is some hand growing. I think what I'm going to try to do is there's kind of like a natural, like growth going this way. So I think I'm going to continue to work on it. It's kind of up for you all, but in reality, it's, you know, the bottom part. Um, I think I'm going to try and work on using it more towards the side and see if I can like hit side pan again in the near-ish future, who really knows, but yep, so that is that. I will say, in terms of this month, there were a couple weeks where I was literally wearing makeup every day, a couple weeks where I was not wearing makeup at all. I'm currently moving um, outside out of my mom's house, which is great because I'm in like an area or a situation in which I can do that again, which is awesome. So, however, I'm still here filming because I came back anyways. But <laughs> that being said, I have not worn makeup in a, the last couple weeks just with, or not last couple weeks, but definitely last couple days, basically this last week, because I've just been, you know, doing a lot of physical activity in terms of moving things and packing things and all this kind of like, you know, rigmarole of what moving is. I also have some great moving stress breakouts. <laughs> so I'm someone who very much likes my things in their places and just like, that makes me calm. This like moving is just like, whew, even if it goes smooth, which it did go kind of for the most part, part smooth, little life update. But yeah, so inconsistent makeup wearing basically. Like some day, like I said, some weeks I'm wearing it every single day. Some weeks I'm wearing it not at all, and it's it's just 2020 is like never ending with the you know throwing curveballs at you and like not really a consistency in terms of schedule or anything really it's just it's a wild year and I'm really happy that it's almost over hopefully 2021 will be feel a little bit more stable <laughs> um that's all I want okay so now we'll do my IBY beauty and yeah we'll do pictures from last month and this month Okay, so I haven't taken a picture yet. Hopefully I clean this up a bit because there's definitely some kick up. But I have pan. I did not expect to have pan. I think the last time I said it was like, uh, I mean, probably just a bigger dip because who knows. But I mean, if nothing else, like it's kind of hard to see with these MAC eyeshadows how much I'm using them because there's just, they're going so slowly. They're really, you know, packed in there. But if nothing else, this will be show you. I do have, like, it's substantial pan for the most part as well. Like, it's not like the whole thing gone, but it's pretty out there. And this is probably one of the shadows that I'm using, like, the least in terms of pigment-wise. Um, like, I'm, yeah, I guess. I don't know why that sound sounded weird. But it's just in the transition and just, like, below transition. But I really feel like I only use such a little part of it. But there we go. This is the only one I'm working on on currently um as soon as I finish flip um for the inner corner or at least like finish all these other ones and I can use this as my lid or whatever but as soon as that one of those situations happens um I'm going to use that as my inner corner and then this will be on my lid but I'm not going to incorporate that as my lid until all these are gone so uh yeah just the way I'm working things but there we go so I have 
pan, which is huge. I forgot about that I had it. It was really exciting. I also have my Ame trio and we'll do pictures from last month and this month. Okay, so I'm totally, I'm just like re-watching, going through my video again because I use my phone to film so I don't have pictures on hand, but I've used so much of this one as well. Holy guacamole. So yeah, I'm, this one's really making its way. I hit side pan and it's kind of growing because that, that pan towards the end, I do use kind of a bigger brush, like for whenever I use this for my outer corner to deepen it out. And then as well as like a little la uh, lash line on the bottom. And so, yeah, I'm really like making some headway over here. I'm thinking, I mean, who knows, honestly, <laughs> who knows predictions at this point, but definitely the next thing to go would be working this around here and kind of like through here. This I think is going to be slow moving on that side because it just is like, I haven't really been using it on that side at all. Like not really. So yeah, but this also, this shade down here is my brow bone highlight and it has also been making quite a bit of a change. We have kind of like a U shape um, or C shape depending on which way it is, but maybe you can see it there. But yeah, so I'm again, that's kind of like, I just use it as my brow bone highlight. I think for a minute I was wearing it as an inner corner highlight when I was trying to pan another look, but this month I've literally just been sticking to the eyeshadow look that I'm wearing now and just trying to pan it because I was really trying to use up this shade. Of course that didn't happen. Um, maybe if I was able to use, um, make up a bit more, but we're good. It's fine. Life is life. So we're going to roll with it. Okay. So now we'll do my face palette, which is my hourglass face palette. And we'll do pictures from last month and this month. Okay. So Again, lots of growth on this pan, which is really exciting. I think I said that maybe I wanted this done, and I think maybe I can get it done by the end of the year. Mm, actually, no, there's only like, I'm filming this on the 20th. There's only like 11 days left, so probably not. But definitely by next up update, I will have this out, which means I will go ahead and start using this as my highlighter. And then this is making quite a bit of headway. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see, but there we go. Now you can see it. This is, you know, I'm hitting side pan up in here. So really, I mean, all that's left that's touching like the outside, I think, is like this corner. And then through here, it's getting pretty shallow as well. And I'm kind of using that as kind of a blush. Like it gives me a little bit of a pigment, but not much. So there you go. <sighs> and then all that's going to be left is that little highlighter. And it's, it's a big highlighter. <laughs> but all that's going to be left is that. I mean, this palette will be around I think for a bit longer but um just because I haven't really touched that that one um but maybe maybe in June maybe in June it'll be out we'll see who knows um but that is it I really would love to do predictions or goals or what I'm working on but life is crazy right now with adjustments of trying to move and holidays and um, you know, just everything looking different with how the world is right now. So there's just, I don't, yeah, <laughs> I've been busy. And so makeup's not really been on, on the mind per se, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling okay on it. I'm using it. I'm liking it. It's working. Um, so yeah, I would really love to have that shadow, the shadow out, but it's still kicking around. So, you know, what can we say? Mac, bang for your buck. Good job. <laughs> but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please let me know about your pan that palettes. I also hope that you have a wonderful holidays with whatever you're celebrating. And if you don't celebrate, just a wonderful end of the year. Um, and yeah, I'll see you. Well, <laughs> hopefully you'll be around. I'm going to be posting a little bit more, but I'll, if not, I'll see you in 2021 for sure. So yeah. I'm, I still have more videos to film today, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.